My name is Justice Hawkins. I'm a student at Morgan State University studying strategic communication, and I'm a student journalist for the Baltimore Times. My story is about the Negro League exhibit at the Maryland State Fair. It's this wonderful exhibit that you'll go to, right? And there's these wonderful cardboard cutouts and these like plaques and memorabilia that all have to do with Negro League baseball. Now, Negro League baseball was something that was created because um, the major leagues wouldn't let black pa players play in the leagues. But you go back to this table and you just see history unfold. You see male players, you see female players. So you see these men and these women who are, you know, pushing the boundaries of we will be accepted into, you know, your league. We're good enough to play. We are good enough to play. So they created their own leagues, which I thought was just phenomenal. I would say the hardest part of the assignment was just remaining uh, cognizant and aware of one year space, the people in the space, and checking everything off your checklist before you leave for, um, before you're done your interview or your assignment. So when it comes to the editing process, it's very important to be number one, thorough. Number two, fact check, fact check, fact check, and fact check again. Um, if you can, no, not if you can, you should have the information of the people who you interviewed. You should have the recordings, their names, where they're from, their uh, phone numbers. If they want to give you their social media, that's fine too. Any way that you can contact the people who you've interviewed is always essential. Oh, she was awesome. She's just like, you ever see one of those like, like, like grandmothers on TV who's just like, children, let me tell you a story. Like, that's like her energy. It's just very helpful and like, like this like very like, like openness like to teach and help other people grow. And I mean, she's kind of like, like she has like, like, it's like she's got it all going on. She's like, I'm this, I'm the writer, I'm the editor. She told us her story. Her experience to me was just really like, um, it made the impossible kind of possible in a way because I've seen Miss Bramble do it for 33 years and continuing to do it. So the door's open for me to continue that myself.